it's gonna be great, I'm telling you. It's honestly gonna be the best birthday party of the year. We invited half of the office, so it's going to be a great time. Uh, we've got a bounce house, uh, petting zoo, a uh, clown is coming by, and uh, oh, I think we're also gonna see the Avengers. You know, they dress up in the costume. It's great, it's great, you should come by. <clears throat> no, my son's birthday passed. Uh, this is for mine. <laughs> I'm turning 45. Why is that weird? Uh, <laughs> excuse me, I'm sorry. I, I have a patient, but go ahead and just leave your uh, contact info with Deborah. We'll uh, send you over the address. Cheers. <laughs> How rude of me, I'm sorry. This is uh, my first coffee of the morning. How you doing? Good, good, good. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm, um, not a real doctor. As you can see by my very official credentials, but uh, you seem to be doing just fine. Uh, however, you don't have a limp on. Sorry, I really like to keep my things organized. So, what we're going to do is we're just going to have to label you. And of course, you're my first patient of the day. So I'm going to uh, label that accordingly. There you go. Alright. So, I'm going to go over your file while I put this on you. Go ahead and just tell me if you've been experiencing any type of discomfort. There you go. Even give you a little smiley face. So, what's been bothering you? Kind of 
keep up with your body and get a little relaxed session going. So, I put on the gloves and the mask because I am going to be getting pretty close to you. Do I have your permission? I do. Okay, thank you. I just like to make sure all of our patients are as comfortable as possible. Go ahead and hold still. I'm just going to put this on your chest and I want you to match my breathing, okay? Good. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Okay. I'm going to bring this right here. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good, good, good. I'm going to move over to this side. Okay, I'm just going to bring this back here. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. Good, 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 good. Nice deep breath in through your nose. Sounds fantastic. The only thing is, if you don't mind me getting kind of close here, um, it seems like your heart rate is up right now. Now, I know I'm very good looking, but I'm just going to put my fingers on your neck here to check your pulse. It's no reason to be nervous. All right, we're here to help you relax and take care of you. Yeah, your heart rate's up a little bit. I'm going to grab myself a nebulizer real quick with a little bit of calming medication to bring your heart rate down a little bit while not, you know, affecting uh, your state of mind at all. But we'd like to make sure you're in a very comfortable spot during this exam, okay? Of course, it'll be two seconds, all right? Just give me one second. Or two. I'll be right back. All right, and now I told you it'd be two seconds. Here is our nebulizer. This is a mask that you're going to put over your nose like so, and then just breathe in the medication. Okay, it's perfectly safe, don't worry. All right, as you can see, it comes out very slowly, and there's no harmful effects at all. Look. as easy as that. Oh, yeah, trust me, I've had uh, everything done to me to make sure I'm not spreading anything to you. This is just for, like, a precautionary measure. If you'd like, I can uh, continue the exam with this off. I'm going to be getting close to you, but really the only thing you need to worry about is that coffee breath. <laughs> it, it, it is bad. Okay. Um, it's okay if I keep it off. Okay, good, good. Sorry about that. Now, we're going to go ahead and run several different types of exams on you, testing your sight. We're going to be testing your smell, your taste, uh, your nerves, your hearing, just plenty of different things, okay? Of course, we're going to start with a quick little eye exam. I know that one is a very relaxing for our patients, so I'm going to start off by taking a look into your eye, okay? Oh, it's nothing to be worried about. We, uh, we do this all the time. It's very, very simple little procedure here. Okay, there you go. Just taking a gander at that eye. Let me just get the magnifying going here. All right. Good, good, good. Now, do you have any trouble, uh, you know, seeing anything on TV? Are you sitting very close to screen? when uh, playing video games or watching anything. You have a computer, okay? Now, how often do you spend time at your computer? 
that down on your file real quick. Okay, uh, so once a day for how long? Okay, so nine to ten hours a day. Okay. Alright. <laughs> you must be a very high rank in Overwatch. You're gold. Yeah. glasses at all. Okay, well, I do highly recommend stepping away from the computer whenever you can. Uh, you seem to be working out pretty well three times a week. I would highly encourage going outside more, touching some grass. Yeah, it's a very beautiful world out there. You just gotta find it. Okay, now, I'm gonna go ahead and have you uh, just look directly at my nose, okay? Do not up into your mind when you see this color. What color? 
acknowledge that.
next to me on this one and I'm going to lightly, lightly, lightly touch your face or very softly give you a poke and you're gonna let me know if it was dull or sharp, okay? Go ahead and close your eyes for me, please. Go ahead and open your eyes. Oh yeah, no, that that was past the flying colors, if you ask me. Um, yeah, it's a fairly an easy test. It kind of puts them in a nice relaxed zen state, really. So I'm just going to write that down. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, you're doing fantastic. Don't worry. Um, how's your hearing right now? some out on that one. I'll try one more with this guy, okay? Hold still. Okay. That one's uh, nice and dirty. I'm just gonna throw that over there and I'm gonna use this other one for the other ear. Can you um, hear me a little bit better now? That you're nice and clean. Okay, good. Usually it's uh, not the 
is hard to clean some ears, but you would give Shrek a run for his money. I can guarantee you that. Okay, good. Yeah, that's disgusting. Now, how's it sound on this side? Clear. Okay, good, good. This is going great. Alright, now, while we're on the topic of hearing and ears, we're going to do what's called a frequency test. Now, this test, I'm just going to hit this tuning fork here that's set at 128 hertz. And you let me know if you can hear it. Okay. Good, good, good. Ready? stops. Okay, fantastic. Last hit. Ready? Good. Alright. Perfect. Perfect. Pass that one with flying colors. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and do another quick little light exam. I need you to go ahead and open your eyes wide for me. And this is going to be a reflex exam, so I'm just going to hold your head still here. And we're just going to have this light shine into your eyes. Okay, I'm seeing a small level of dilation there. Okay, would you say you have a fast reaction time? <laughs> you don't? Okay. Well, I would say get into some sports. Uh, I know you're at your computer a lot. You can play different video games that can help your reaction time. Uh, Minecraft, I know, is a very fast-paced game. Another fast-paced game, uh, Stardew Valley. Animal Crossing. Uh, farming Simulator. Oh, man, I'm, I'm like constantly, my crops, uh, the, the farms, the, the simulations, you know, it's just a lot. So, I would highly recommend checking out some of those games. They're fun and can help your reaction time. Good. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and hold the light back here, and you just let me know when it's on by lifting your hand and putting it down when it's off. Are you ready? Okay, go ahead. Good. 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 Good, good, good. Good. Okay, that sounds good. I know it's a very silly test, but you'd be surprised. A lot of people have to go off of, uh, you know, the auditory click versus actually being able to see the light. So I trust you, though. Okay. Uh, everything looks to be pretty good. Are there any other questions before we get to our final, final exam? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll actually have Deborah give you one of my cards. Uh, we'd love to have you return again to this clinic in any way that you'd like to be assisted. We can definitely do that for you, all right? Of course, of course. And please never be afraid to come to me uh, about any issues or anything at all. I know a very good therapist uh, that uh, deals with a lot of mental issues. We get a lot of uh, teenagers that actually come in seeking mental help, and I think that's very important mental health is just as important as your physical, and while that may seem extremely uh, common for us, it's very different for some people out there, so don't ever be afraid, all right? I'm here to help you. Of course, of course, so we'll just go ahead and move on, and then I'll do the final exam, and prescribe you some items to take home that can probably help you, okay? Okay, good. 
this final exam is one of my favorites. This is just a simple pair of tweezers. Now, these tweezers are extremely useful because they have superpowers. Now, these tweezers can take away all negative energy. Can you believe that? Just a simple old pair of tweezers. Something so simple, right? <laughs> Basically, what I want you to do is close your eyes. Take a deep breath and think about any negative energy you may have and I promise you I will grab it and pluck it away from you. You won't ever have to worry about those ever again, okay? And we'll replace them with some positive energy, of course, of course. <laughs> Go ahead and close your eyes for me. Okay, I see a little something here. Closing your eyes, I'll take care of you, don't worry. Pluck. Good. Pluck. Good. Pluck. Good, good, good. Pluck. Nice. Great job. Pluck. Good, good. Oh. That's weird. I don't know, it's, it's okay. You can open your eyes now. seeing is a positive person. Whoa. I, I think it may have worked. Look at that. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's just a way to kind of uh, leave off on a smile. I want you to remember that no matter what you're going through, you can definitely get through it. Whether it's with the help of a professional or someone that you know in your personal life, I would highly recommend just always being yourself and showing those feelings. Don't hide them. At least not for long, okay? Awesome. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... I'm going to give your file to my assistant. Go ahead and leave some of your information, contact info. We'll be emailing you, and if you prefer calls or texts, just set your preferences with her, and we can uh, schedule you for, like, a checkup next month, yeah? Of course, of course, here. I'm going to leave you with some of these sleeping pills here, okay? Now, I know not a lot of people like to use sleeping pills, uh, but it sometimes can help us, you know, press reset, so I'm going to leave those with you. I recommend taking two of those about an hour before bed, okay? Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. And on top of that, again, I noticed the sleep is kind of an issue. I'm going to be prescribing this beauty sleep chamomile rose tea. It's absolutely delicious, and it'll help you get some rest, okay? So, you can uh, drink this about an hour before bed. You can take them with your pills if you'd like, and just uh, let them steep for 15 minutes. Once all that, uh, you know, all the herbs, all the flowers are absorbed into the hot water, I would highly recommend, uh, you know, drinking a cup before, before bed, okay? Of course, that's pretty much it for the day, um, but I hope to see you again, okay? Of course, just give us a call and ask for Dr. Jenkins. I'd be more than happy to help. All right. Cheers. You have yourself a great rest of the day, and I'll see you next time, okay? All right, but hey, hey, don't forget to smile. All right, I'll see you next time. Have a great day. It's good to be the best. <laughs>